Hi, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to make scalloped potatoes. I have here about three pounds, which is makes roughly 12 to 13 potatoes, and try to find the same similar size as it will cook more evenly. While the potatoes are boiling, I'm going to grease a pan, 9 by 13, with um, some ghee. You can use vegetable oil, or you can even cut little pieces of butter or margarine. Set it aside, and I'm going to make the sauce. And for the sauce, we need one egg. And we are going to whisk one egg with um, salt, pepper, black pepper, salt, and oil. I have about a half a cup of oil here, so I'm going to add it slowly to the egg. So it looks like this. It's like making a mayonnaise. To this I'm going to add two heaped tablespoons of sour cream and mix it in. And I'm going to also add a tablespoon of mayonnaise. This will add a little bit more tartness to the sauce. And now I'm going to add half a cup of milk. So to thin it, I'm going to add some milk to it. Set it aside until the potatoes are boiled. Boil the potatoes until fork tender, then drain the water and set them aside to cool. Once they are cooled enough to handle, Peel them and set them aside until they are all peeled. The potatoes are all peeled. I'm going to slice them just not too thick, about quarter inch slices. Just like this, about quarter inch slices. You can cut them on the on a board or, and just slice them like this, it's much faster. So you just cut it like this in your hand. For me, it's easier to do this than on a board. It goes much faster, whichever way you find it more comfortable. Or you can slice it straight into the pan, whichever works for you. You have to find your own, own method, whichever is more comfortable for you. There is no really a rule, do this or do that. Whatever comes, you know, uh, learning to cook, if you are new to cooking, um, I might, it might be a good time to mention, um, you, you have to adapt and adapt your recipes to, to your liking. Um, recipes are good. I have many, many recipes collected over the years, but it also, it's experience of how I change them sometimes and um, add certain spices, herbs, and make it my own because it's what I like to do. So recipes are, are fine, they are a gu guideline, but if you learn to cook um, from your heart, so to speak, you will always be able to throw, to put together a dinner um, and uh, uh, get used to it, cooking, um, not necessarily following a recipe, but cooking, um, learning to cook as you go, so to speak. So here is one, one row of potatoes, and um, we are going to, I'm going to add, I have here chopped uh, three uh, green onions, so I'm going to spread some green onions, and I have a cup of grated um, cheddar. I'm going to put some of this and in, in between. And you can also add some salt and pepper because the potatoes were not boiled in salted water. So it's a good idea to add a little bit of salt and some pepper, black pepper, just like that. And then we are going to put the second layer. So I finished the second layer of potato. I'm going to put some add some salt and some pepper, just a touch. And I'm going to put some more green onion. You can add more or less depending on what you like. I had three chopped here, but I don't think I'm going to use all. So maybe two would have been enough. As I said, I'm not really following the recipe. So adjust to your liking. And I'm going to put the rest of the cheddar cheese on top. And to top it all, I'm going to spread the sauce. The sauce had thickened a bit, so it's like a salad dressing consistency, I would say. 
So I'm going to pour the sauce on top, just like that. And this, when it bakes, it makes it so creamy and delicious. It's going to be very good. So we are going to bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40, 45 minutes until cheese has melted and it's all nice and bubbly. The scallop potatoes are done. Mmm, delicious. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe and remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.